I just wonder why now, why they all of a sudden are releasing the campaign where Kony, or when Kony has been like terrorizing both Uganda and the Congo for like yeah. 20 years. It seems to me that like, it's like a really divided issue. Like there are people who really, really support like the fact that we're sending people to Uganda for to find Kony, but there are other people who just think that it's like a popularity kind of contest. So I don't really know where I stand because I don't know too much about either, but I've only seen like the video on the like plus side and I thought that it was really good and really moving, so. The whole concept, it's a great idea, but then I feel like our generation's full of like slacktivists, slacktivists, um, you know, kids who, um, they just jump on a bandwagon and just start supporting the calls without really knowing the information or knowing anything about it, just, you know, just to feel like they've done something in their life. Like, um, I just think the Coney and like the whole incident, the whole publicity, the whole exploitation just makes the African culture, you know, it really has a bad uh, connotation to it. I just don't think it's something that the African culture or tradition really needs to be exposed or exploited. So that's just my opinion on it. The Coney 2012 uh, campaign I thought was kind of interesting because it's kind of, you know, the latest uh, humanitarian effort that people sort of tried to make and then forgot about after a week. Like, I mean, I know that it's happening. But I've also known that it's happening for quite a while at this point and, you know, I've seen this sort of thing come and go and like thought, well, I don't really know if I'm going to watch it because nobody else is going to care after about a week.